What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be trying out some more extra clothing off of Wish. You guys always seem to really enjoy these videos on my channel, so I thought I would film another one and I picked up five different items of clothing from Wish that I thought were really extra, really out there, and just things that I think are generally kind of different to my style and things I personally wouldn't really wear on a day-to-day -day basis. And this time around, I've got some pretty interesting items of clothing, so this should be fun. If you guys are brand new here and have never seen my face before. Hi, I'm Roxy and welcome to the dinosaur family. Make sure you guys stick around and subscribe. Also be sure to check me out on social media at Roxaurus if you don't already. But if you guys want to see what I picked up from Wish, then let's get on into the video. Okay, so the very first item we have is this one right here. And as you can see, the color is definitely quite bold. I feel like I'm going to stand out like a blooming highlighter in this outfit. So as you can see by this item right here, Wish has only just got the memo that, you know, neon green is on trend right now, especially on Instagram so they have come out with this weird looking cohort which is basically like a cropped sort of turtleneck with this weird like claspy thing these are quite on trend as well so they're literally just trying to merge as many trends together and then the bottom half is this skirt but honestly that is gonna be so short. I can tell already that is gonna be so short. So this is what the set looks like on Wish. It looks quite nice. I mean, it looks quite trendy, not really my style. So as you can see, this is definitely gonna be quite out there and I have no idea how I'm gonna feel about this. So let's pop it on and see how this actually looks on. I mean, I'm not like mad at this outfit. I quite like the look of it actually. I didn't think I would, but now that I've got it on, it's kind of growing on me. The skirt I actually thought was gonna be a lot shorter, but it turns out it's not that bad. I mean, it is on the short side, but it's not like you can see anything. The one thing that's really poorly made about this set is the fact that the clasp on the side does have a setting where you can like make it tighter and you know, make it fit around your waist a little bit better. The only thing is the strap itself is made from something that's really soft and easily it just slides through the clasp and doesn't actually keep it in place. So I kind of had to do a little knot just underneath the clasp to make sure that it actually stays in place and doesn't kind of come undone. And this is what the outfit looks like in full. I mean, it's definitely not really my type of vibe. Let me know what you guys think of this outfit. I mean, would I ever wear this out? Probably not. I think it's a bit extra. I do kind of feel like a little bit of like a ninja of some sort. I don't know what's giving me ninja vibes. Maybe it's all the straps. But yeah, this is what it looks like on. Does it look like the photo? You guys be the judge. So now for the next outfit we have. This one right here, it's basically like a white two-piece. This is what the photo looks like of it on Wish. I thought again, it was quite interesting and quite like extra and out there. This actually only cost me nine pounds. Ooh, there is quite a lot of pieces that I probably need to assemble, which I'm very bad at, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so the first thing we have is this really, really long white belt, and it's got one of those really big utility sort of clasps on it, which is quite cool. We then have the bottom half, which, I mean, let's be real, it looks very interesting, that's for sure. So it's kind of got these cutouts on the side with the same sort of utility clasp on the side as well. So I'm guessing you're gonna see a lot of like my side thigh, which uh, I'm not looking forward to. And then it's the same thing on the other side. So these are just like little white shorts. I'm actually quite impressed with the quality of the fabric though. It doesn't feel too like cheap. And then the top half looks like this. It's basically like a spaghetti strap top. It's very, very cropped. I'm hoping that my boobs are even gonna fit in this. Like low key, I think I'm gonna have under boobs, so I'm gonna have to like blur that out. And then it's got like the slither of the strap again, which is kind of meant to sit like that right underneath the crop top. So I'm really hoping this is gonna fit me. Let's pop it on and see how it looks. This is the next outfit. Now I've gotta be honest, I don't know if I'm feeling this one quite as much just because I feel just very exposed right now. These sides, I mean, they're not exposing anything bad. It's just literally my hips, but I don't know. There's just something about it that just doesn't feel quite right. Also, as suspected, the top is tiny. I feel like it's more of a top that's supposed to kind of show your under boob. However, I'm not really a fan of like showing the underneath of my boobs on YouTube for millions of people to see. So I'm gonna keep that covered up. I think as a 
whole, this is literally a definition of Instagram baddie. This is exactly what an Instagram baddie look entails. I don't hate it, but I personally wouldn't feel confident walking out in this outfit and just like strutting my stuff around town. So I feel like this is definitely a very, very extra outfit for me personally. I mean, on camera, it doesn't look bad. It does look quite flattering. It's kind of giving me illusions of like that Kim K, Kylie Jenner sort of curve. But on a practical note, I don't think I would ever actually wear this out. So I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10. The next item we have is this one right here. Now this one is kind of supposed to look like this. At least that's what it looked like on Wish. It's basically like a rhinestone sort of jumpsuit. It's kind of meshy and sheer, but I'm hoping it's gonna be opaque in the areas where I need it to be opaque. You know, like my boob area and also my butt. I don't want that on show. It does say on the listing that it's a solid color jumpsuit. So I'm really gonna count on that. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely very sheer. I mean, you can literally see what I'm wearing right now underneath it. So I think I'm gonna have to just literally pop this on top of the bodysuit I'm wearing right now. I mean, it's definitely a really pretty item of clothing, that's for sure. I think it is really cute, but the rhinestones are definitely very far and in between, unlike it was in the photo. It has got a long zipper all at the back. So, you know, it allows you to get into the clothing a little bit better, but I don't know how I feel about this. It looks so nice on the pictures, but I feel like it's just gonna look really bad and really sheer in person. I literally can't do this for myself. I cannot come on my YouTube channel half naked for you guys. Like, honestly, it's a no. I'm gonna have to blur this whole thing. All you can see is the fact that it's just so sheer and you can see my underwear straight through like nobody's business. I just don't understand how they make it work. Like what do they wear underneath? Do they wear like a bodysuit underneath? I guess maybe if you wore a bodysuit, it would be a bit better because it would kind of cover up most of your body, I'm guessing. But just like this, how it comes, it's like not wearable. This is kind of giving me like ice skater slash gymnast sort of vibe, but a lot more naked. And that is not the look I'm going for you guys. This is a big fat no. I hate this. <laughs> this is awful. Okay, the next item is this one right here. It's basically a red dress and I actually really love this on the website. So I'm hoping it's gonna look like it did in the photos. This only cost me five pounds. So, I mean, I don't have high hopes, but from my first impressions, the quality does seem okay. This is what it looks like. I think it's actually meant to sit a little bit more off the shoulders like this though. I'm actually quite impressed with this. I've got to say the fabric feels really nice and thick. It feels quite well made and it's definitely not going to be sheer. So, I mean, what more could you ask for? This is kind of what the length is like. So it's not too long, but I'm hoping it's going to be long enough. So let's pop it on and see how it looks. So this is the dress. I feel like it fits quite well. I mean, I could barely get it over my hips. That's how tight it was. So it definitely kind of fits like a glove right now. But the only thing I've got to mention is the fact that these straps don't exactly sit off the shoulders like that. Because as soon as I put these down like this, I feel like the whole thing just kind of falls down and it's not a good look. So I'm just going to pop them up like this. I do still think it's a really pretty dress, even if it has to be worn like this. But it does have quite a lot of space on the sides for like the booby area. So I feel like it might be for someone with a slightly larger chest than me. I think it is a very simple and plain dress to be honest. It has got the nice like trim at the bottom, kind of the same as the straps. Because it is quite a plain dress, I do think that it's all in the straps sitting off the shoulders like this, like it does in the photo. And it is kind of disappointing that they won't sit up like that, but oh well. I think I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. I do still really love the dress, but I just wish they sat off the shoulders kind of like they do in the photo. And this is the last item of clothing I'm gonna try out for you guys. It's it's basically a little crop top. So this is kind of what it's supposed to sit like, but it's got these straps from either end of the top, which is kind of weird. This is how the model wears it on Wish and it's supposed to kind of like wrap around my waist and also like my neck. I'm gonna have to figure it out later, but I feel like it's a nice little crop top. It's quite stretchy. The fabric feels quite slinky. Is that even a word? Slinky? Is that what you want about Roxy? I mean, like it feels quite soft and slick. That's, that's basically what I was trying to say. And this is the top and what it looks like on. I just paired it with a pair of jeans and I actually feel like this looks 
like a pretty cool outfit. I think this top is really comfortable. It was so inexpensive for what it is as well, and it actually fits really nicely. It's not see-through by any means, and this is also what it looks like from the back. I think the idea of this top is really simple, but it just looks so dressy for some reason. I think it's just because it crosses over around the tummy and also around the sort of like neck area. And let me tell you, this top was not hard to assemble by yourself. It was actually really straightforward and really simple. As long as you look at the photo, you're all good. I actually really like this top. I'm gonna give it like a 10 out of 10 because it was so affordable, but it's actually really nice quality. So that was everything from my extra wish haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up just down below. Let me know which one of these items was your favorite. I think my favorite was definitely the red dress. I actually really liked it. I think it fit really nicely. The quality was good and it was so affordable as well. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, make sure you guys come and join the dinosaur family by subscribing down below. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media at Roxaurus. But that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>